after winning that Grand Slam with the Alaska Aces, your fans were expecting that there would be more because you were so successful, but in the very next year, you found yourself wearing another jersey. Can you talk to us, you know, how that came about? During that time, there was still the offer sheet that other teams can, can offer players. Coach Norman was moving to Mobileye. He knew I was expiring that year and he ma just made an offer. And um, it was hard to leave the first time. It was hard, you're leaving after winning a Grand Slam or winning four in a row. But I, I think when you, when you look at the difference in, in numbers, that was a consideration because I think, you know, at that moment, the thought is, will, will I ever have this opportunity yeah. again? So whether people felt like it was a bad um, decision or not, um, I took it because I just felt like it, this might be the only time I get this opportunity. That's pretty much how, how things happen. And I joined a team that, were, that was you know, not even close uh, in regards to talent level. I was relied upon heavily. And, and the next time I won a championship was 2002. So after being in six straight finals, I went on a drought for six years before I got a taste of that. And during that six, those six years, and again, that's where I think I grew up and matured as a, as a player, where my skills were honed on both sides of the court. My leadership was, as one of the main guys, improved. I don't want to take that back also, because although championship is your goal, there are a lot of good things also that happen despite of that.